Hi boys and girls, welcome to another flipped lesson. This week we're going to be working with multiplication comparisons, but we're going to be adding in another element of division this week. So last week we were just doing um, bar models and sentences comparing multiplication to figure out the answer to those problems. But this week we're still going to do multiplication comparisons, but the problems could be either multiplication or division which is import, an important skill because when you come across these problems you want to know whether to either multiply or divide or you're going to get the wrong answer. So how do you know when to use multiplication or division when solving a comparison word problem? So let's look at this problem. So um, make sure you have some scratch paper. You're not going to quite solve it yet but this is just this is going to be the problem at the end of the slide after or the slides after we do a few examples. So a bus is 35 feet long. It is five times as long as a car. How long is the car? So just kind of think about that and before we move on I want you to think in your head is this a multiplication problem or a division problem? Alright let's continue. Alright, so in this lesson you will learn how to solve a multiplicative comparison word problem by using multiplication or division. Now actually, as you will see, they can all be solved by multiplication, but um, when you look at them you can say, oh this is a division problem or this is a multiplication problem. And it, if it is a division problem you can just kind of check it um, by using multiplication. All right, so here's a review. A blue hat costs $6. A red hat costs three times as much as the blue hat. How much does the red hat cost? So on your piece of scratch paper, I want you to solve this before I show you anything. So pause the video. Solve this. You could either use a number sentence. You can use a bar model. And then just hit play once you've solved it. Alright, so the information that you do know is that you know the blue hat costs $6. So if I were doing a bar model, that would be my top block because um, 6 is how much one blue hat costs. And then we need to figure out that a red hat is three times as much. So we could do the three blocks, one, two, three. And since we already know the six goes in one blocks, and you guys learned about this last week, you would then put a 6 in each one of those blocks. Then you could either you know add 6 plus 6 plus 6 or if you already know 3 times 6 um, you would know the answer which would be $18. So 6 times 3 equals $18. So that one was a multiplication problem. And now we're going to be looking at seeing if these ones are either a multiplication or a division problem. Alright, so we've got this one. The giraffe is 20 feet tall. Makes sense. The kangaroo is 5 feet tall. The giraffe is how many times taller than the kangaroo? So on your piece of scratch paper, I want you to solve this and think about did you use multiplication or division. You can use a bar model, you can use a number sentence, but do that, or sorry, hit pause, then do that, and then hit play once you've, um, you have your answer so that you can check it when I go through it. Alright, so we know a kangaroo is five feet tall. We know the giraffe is a lot taller, so we can do a bar model you can actually you could draw out your rectangle down here because you know it's going to be longer and then if you look at it this is actually a division problem I mean you can solve it with multiplication which I'll show you in a second but it's a division problem because we already have our total 
we have our 20 feet and we know the kangaroo is 5 feet tall but how many times taller than the kangaroo so if I multiplied these two numbers if I did 20 times 5 I would get 100 so that makes no sense that the kangaroo that the giraffe is a hundred times taller than the can than the kangaroo because 20 is not 100 times more than 5 so right away we know well not right away but just by thinking about that we know that it could not be a multiplication problem And so if we look at it, we've got one, two, three, four. Four would fit in 20 divided by 5 equals 4. So we would fit 4 in here. So you don't really need the bar model as much for a division, but this is just a good visual that 20 divided by 5 would equal 4. And that makes a lot more sense that the giraffe is four times taller, not 100 times taller, because five times four equals 20. And then again, right here, five times four would equals 20, so it's four times as tall. All right, let's look at another example. Let me get rid of this. All right, and here was the problem at the beginning of the lesson. So a bus is 35 feet long. The bus is five times as long as the car, or a car. How long is a car? So think about the two examples we did. One was a multiplication, one was a division. And think about, would you want to do 35 divided by five to get it, or 35 times five? So you really have to think about, and you can, well, you can do a bar model, you can do a number sentence, and then whatever answer you get, think about, does that make sense for the problem? So pause the video, solve it, and then I will show you how to solve it. All right, so we already know, we are, sorry, we don't know what the car's um, length is, but we do know the bus. So we know if the bus is 35 feet long, it's obviously longer than a car. We can do one, two, three, four, five, because we know it's five times longer. So you can actually do part of the bar model. You can do the one up here and then one, two, three, four, five. Then you can fill in the whole length, 35. So you know that equal amounts have to go into these boxes. So for example, if you did, let's say, nine in each one of these, nine, 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 hmm, nine plus nine plus nine plus nine plus nine, hmm, that's 45, that's not 35, so we know nine can't be there, so we know the car can't be nine feet long. So if we think five times what gets us to 35, you can think of it that way. Oh, so then you think seven, because five times seven equals 35. So you could do it that way. So you could do it as a multiplication problem, or this is actually um, a division problem, but we can use multiplication to solve it, because remember we already have our total, we have the 35 feet, so if we divide it by 5, so even though you see this word times, it's still a division problem, because we have our total, and we're dividing it into these 5 
groups. And again, if we times these numbers, 35 times 5, uh, that wouldn't make sense. That would be way too big. Because if we did that, if we did 35 times 5, we would get 175. And that wouldn't make sense that the car is 175 feet because we know that a car is shorter than a bus and if the car were 175 feet long that would be a lot longer than a bus so you can always kind of if you try multiplication and you do division you can usually tell which answer makes uh, makes more sense now again you can use multiplication to solve it but this is a division problem because you're doing 35 divided by 5 will get you to 7 feet and that makes a lot more sense that a car is 7 feet long. Alright, so in this lesson uh, you have learned how to solve a multiplica multiplicative uh, comparison word problem by using multiplication or division. Um, just remember that the division problems can also be solved with multiplication, but you know initially it is a division problem. Then you can use the bar models, you can use number sentences, and just think about does that answer actually, you know, does your answer make sense when you look at it? Kind of like with the bus, 175 wouldn't make sense. The giraffe uh, one we did when we did um, multiplication, it it didn't make sense. So um, think about that when you're doing your entrance ticket if you have any questions or you want to review, uh, just watch the video again and good luck on that entrance ticket.